Hello and welcome to this edition of Intelligent Video Today. I'm your host, Steve Onderhart. Join us on today's episode, Hayden Gilmer, Vice President of Revenue over at Waymark. Welcome, Hayden. Thanks, Steve. Glad to be here. Well, uh, now you work at a company called Waymark. Tell us a little bit about the company. Uh, how long have you folks been around and uh, what has been your focus in terms of making uh, the advertising world more receptive for small, medium-sized businesses? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Waymark is a AI video platform. We really set out with the mission to empower small and medium sized businesses uh, to have the same opportunity with advertising on all different mediums from, you know, digital platforms like your social channels all the way through streaming television and all the way to linear television. Um, Waymark has been around for a little while. Um, we're maybe a little bit different than some other startups, but we've been around since 2017, um, the product that you can imagine back in 2017 was a, a vastly different one. Um, and so we've seen it really change and shape, but always with the, uh, the focus of helping and empowering those small businesses to be able to uh, bring their business to the next level with video advertising. So Waymark really is a platform solution. Tell us how organizations might put your platform's capabilities to work. Yeah, great question. We um we kind of have an interesting use case. You know, a lot of times companies hear video platform, they automatically think creative and fulfillment and production. Uh, but where we've actually found a lot of um, success with our customers has been on the revenue generating side. Um, and so we've taken a, a really strategic approach to our go to market efforts. We work a lot with media organizations and publishers um, just because they are able to tap into a lot more small businesses that need high quality content. So, so those are your customers today. Uh, what what type of business models are you employing to make money from that customer set? Uh, are media, large media companies your, your best customers or who, who really uh, makes the cash registers ring for Waymark? Yeah, uh, it's a good question. We've, um, you know, me media organizations and publishers really are kind of our, our core target and some of our best customers today. We had some early customers like Spectrum um, on the cable side of things, great television, who was early adopters of the Waymark platform, um, putting this in the hands of their sellers to be able to go generate revenue from a spec and ad creation standpoint. Um, and the business model that we operate is really one that is a creative first approach. We, um, we, implement a, a SaaS business model, so subscription fee. Um, but all of our customers are able to create unlimited videos in helping to drive more demand within their market. So um, we do you know, set different limits on the numbers of videos that they can download and take to air, um, but really allow for an unlimited creative approach. And that's a really important principle for our, our product offering. So essentially, if a cable company or a local television station is trying to go out and sell advertising, uh, they use your platform to make kind of a demo commercial, if you will, go out to that client and sell them on the idea of uh, advertising with them. Exactly. Yeah, it's really changed. You know, a lot, a lot of what we hear from uh, from our customers on the sales side is that it just changes the conversation. Right. You know, a seller today walks in with a bunch of data, walks in with a bunch of demographic, you know, research and all this sort of stuff that they can show with, you know, how their network performs. But um, now they can walk in with a highly customized commercial for this brand, show them exactly what you know it could be looking like if they're on air tomorrow, even. Um, and so it really gets the emotions from the buyer perspective. You know, the uh, doing their best Don Draper impression from Mad Men uh, makes it a lot easier if you have a, a video to show. And we see a lot of that um, through our customers today. Now, as you said, you've been doing this for just about five years, uh, uh, all along the way, employing best of breed technologies. But uh, I guess you've really amped up the use of AI in the, in the past couple of years or so. Uh, walk us through how artificial intelligence capabilities, uh, how you've been integrating that into the Waymark, pl Waymark platform and how that's changed uh, the, the scope of the features and capabilities you're able to offer your customers. Yeah, it's really it's really elevated and really changed our product for the better. Um, you know, Waymark kind of started as more of a lightweight video editor uh, mentality, but it, we've really been able to uh, take AI from powering a lot of our back end decisions to moving it forward really in the past year, 18 months or so, in moving it to our user experience and allow customers to experience this hands on. Um, so a couple of things come to mind when I think about just significant improvements that we've outlined. One is uh, we've made a lot of uh, a lot of work and a lot of um, improvement on just our ability to pr pull in brand information, right? And so part of our process is going out, finding information about this company, the way they speak about themselves, their logo, colors, all this sort of stuff, and as well as their digital assets. Really getting the the user to be able to start 
two, three steps ahead of the process rather than having to upload a bunch of content. So, you know, our engineering and creative team have worked pretty, pretty in unison on being able to go pull what we think is relevant content, but also um, that's going to make the video better. And you're and talking about, uh, pardon me for a second, just so people understand, no, you're, you're talking about the AI system on an automated basis going out to a website, pulling that information uh, and literally uh, really uh, dragging in all that piece, all those pieces of content uh, to really make it an automated production process overall, aren't you? Exactly. Yeah, we, we want to be able to, you know, along the way, as many of the sort of manual things that you would find within the creative process, whether that's from sourcing and finding a bunch of content to, uh, you know, doing some initial edits or outlining a you know storyboard at the very beginning of the process, all of these things are happening automatic through our AI models. Um, and so you're exactly right. Yeah, we're going out, we're using AI to pull in, to summarize, to learn about a business that we can then create not you know, only one, but multiple different videos, different versions, et cetera, um, that are hopefully going to be on brand and uh, you know speak to what the business desires. So it's great. You got this automated process. You, you spit out all these videos. Uh, uh, does the platform enable then the, the actual video producer to uh, do anything with that video once it uh, comes out of the automated system from its first draft process? Yeah, exactly. We um, while, while we always aim to, you know, create an acceptable final version for, you know, every generation, um, we're going to allow for some edits, right? And I think that's, you know, something that uh, our users really enjoy about the platform is it gives ability to, you know, if you're a little bit more of a seasoned editor or do have some video experience, there are some tips and tricks that you can do to make editing, uh, take it up a notch, right? But also if you're a seller like you know myself who sits on the revenue side of things, who uh, doesn't maybe have that perfect creative eye, I can still create a really good looking video within just a few seconds. So um, yeah, anything from swapping out visuals to text or font all the way to choosing you know a different AI voice to use along the way, um, all different things that you can do and have full control over as well. Even you can be a video producer using AI, I guess, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. So where do you guys go from here? What, what, the, what do you envision uh, Waymark's solution in terms of uh, future categories or other applications you might apply this video processing capability to? Yeah, we've um, we've really enjoyed, and you know, I think we've um, really loved our success that we've had with media organizations, as well as kind of sitting on both sides of the revenue side and helping them, you know, find more advertisers, as well as on the creative side, helping streamline and things like that. Um, that'll remain a large focus for us. You know, one other thing that we are very interested in is the self serve advertising space. It's just kind of taking off and continuing to grow with the launching of you know so many more CTV um, platforms, fast channels, etc. Ad supported things. Um, and so we're excited and our interest in a ton of spaces there where we can take the Waymark experience, put it into these platforms that already exist today so that the small business can you know, go and uh, choose a campaign and make a video all in one spot. So there's a lot of hope there. Um, and then the second part I would say also is as the quality of the videos continue to get better, that's a big initiative that we have on our side is always continuing to you know make better and better quality videos. I'd also say that you know we're going to see usage across maybe a wider set of customers than we do today, where we've really been focused on solving the problem for a small business that doesn't have video resources. You know, future state, I think we could see, um, hey, you know, this company does have a creative team, but they really want to scale out localization. They really want to scale out lots of different types of content. And so being able to support not only the smaller, medium sized businesses, but also maybe those mid market, even enterprise companies, I, I think are, um, you know, something that's on our radar as well. Yeah, so scan the horizon for me a little bit, three to five years down the line. What type of added features uh, might uh, we see embedded in the Waymark solution over time? You certainly have made a ton of progress, as you said, over the past year to 18 months uh, in terms of integrating AI into the overall platform. But uh, uh, where could this take us over time? Yeah, that's the... Uh million or multi-million dollar you know question that that we have in front of us i think that's one of the you know most unique things and sort of exciting but also challenging things about working in ai is the technology is improving and changing so rapidly that something that is you know today deemed nearly impossible tomorrow becomes a pretty easy reality to do so and i think that's you know a challenge that we face a lot of times but um you know something that our team tries to stay on top of day in and day out as far as waymark you know for me i think the um, 
the idea of this like enhanced control, but still simplified experience is really where I put my mind at where um, customers are really going to want to take the product to a new level. But what that means is they want more control, right? They want to be able to just maybe instead of using a website to start the video, they want to use a example video. They want to use a PowerPoint they may have, right? And we can then sort of use that and create something similar. Or, you know, they want even more fine-tuned editing. They want to be able to, you know, clone their voice or something of that, right? So I think this enhanced control, uh, you know, really opens lots of avenues. I think the thing for, for us that we see a lot of times, and, you know, sometimes we're even uh, maybe too perfect in some ways that we try to be at least, is uh, we're big on quality, right? We think that's our, you know, remains a large focus for us. So whatever technology does come out or whatever features, you know, pop up next, making sure it delivers on a day to day basis for our customers is really the most important thing. And so, you know, we have a lot of things that were already in R&D, but just making sure that they do uh, work day in and day out is very important. Yeah, I guess we get, we don't know where AI and intelligent video is going to take us necessarily, but uh, yeah. we know we're on our way, and uh, certainly exactly. uh, Waymark is on the way as well. So uh, Hayden Gilmer from Waymark, thanks so much for taking the time to visit with us and sharing your insight today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. And we thank you for taking the time to watch today's episode. Uh, we invite you to click on our YouTube channel link right down there to subscribe to our series to get insight from more industry thought leaders like Hayden Gilmer. For Intelligent Research and Intelligent Video Today, I'm Steve Vonderhaar. Thanks for your time.